Hi, and thanks for tuning in to Sweet Talk with Taylor. Today we'll be discussing how to send change orders to QuickBooks and how they will interact with your existing estimate and information. As you can see, we have already sent our estimate over to QuickBooks, which has created a customer and a job for us based on the client and project name that we have within Construction Suite. And we have since also entered an invoice for the job. Once you've created a change order and it has been reviewed and approved by the client, you can come back into your Construction Suite estimate and change the status to accepted. And once you do that, it will save the change order to the estimate and you will be prompted to send the change order to QuickBooks. Once you select yes, the QuickBooks estimate wizard will come up for you to choose the settings with which you would like to send this over to QuickBooks. You can choose the level of detail, whether you would like to send the project totals level of detail only or the entire workbook. Project totals will create line items for categories and subcategories, where the entire workbook will also include items for the line items. The customer job will be selected for you. You can see with the change orders, we actually have a customer, a job, and a subjob for the change order name that we have given it. And then you have the option to include markups such as line item markups or taxes if you have them in the estimate. Once you've chosen your settings, you can select OK. And this will send the change order information over to QuickBooks, and it will create a new estimate in QuickBooks for the change order. It'll let us know when the estimate has been created. We select OK. It will take us over to QuickBooks and show us that it has now populated this new estimate with the floor system materials item for the cost of our change order. We'll save and close and take us back to the customer center. You can now see that we have a sub job with the name of the change order underneath our main job here. So for floor systems, we do have this estimate now that we had just viewed. You can now use this item for any invoices, purchase orders, or bills that you have within QuickBooks and import that information back into Construction Suite. If you have a negative change order within Construction Suite, such as the one we have here for countertops within our estimate, you can do the same thing to send this over to QuickBooks once it has been reviewed and accepted. But this time you will notice that if you choose to send the estimate over to QuickBooks, it will actually create a credit memo instead of a new estimate for the change order. So note that anytime you have a negative change order and you choose to export it to QuickBooks, it will automatically create a credit memo for you. In this case, you can again choose the project totals or entire workbook level of detail. And again, you can see that we have a new sub job for the cabinetry downgrade and we will select to send this over as well. Again, once it has been created, we will be notified, and when we select OK, it will take us over to QuickBooks to show us the credit memo that has been created, in this case for $1,050. Now do remember that credit memos are inherently a negative amount, so you will not see a negative value on the credit memo. The positive value will indicate that this is a credit to be applied to a job. When we save and close this credit memo, you will again see that it has its own sub job created underneath the main job in QuickBooks. And the credit memo is within this. You don't have the ability to come to this credit memo and give it as a refund or apply it to an invoice. However, if we try to apply this to an invoice at the moment, it'll say we have no open invoices. This is because the credit memo must be on the same level as the invoices we have created as far as the job goes. So if we come into this credit memo, move it up to the job level instead of the sub job and save and close. You'll see that we now have the option to retain as an available credit, give a refund or apply to an invoice. If you choose to apply it to an invoice, you can now choose the invoice you have. Select done. And if we go view the invoice that we just selected, you will see that we now have $1,050 worth of payments applied from that credit memo. Now it's important to remember that whether you are creating a new estimate or a credit memo, change orders are an important part of any job, and with this new knowledge you can now handle them like a professional. Thanks for tuning in to Sweet Talk.